Ladies and gentlemen, for the longest of time, Build-A-Boat has been intertwined with catapults, guys. When you think of a cool way to the end, you probably think of this old Xenak video where he built a catapult that goes to the end. Was I in this video? I don't think I was in this one. Uh -huh. But yeah, guys, this video got almost 8 million views, which is absolutely nuts. But guys, as all of you know, recently, there has been a new update to Build-A-Boat, and there's now microblocks, which changes everything, of course. It pretty much means that we can now actually make catapults that look really freaking good, guys. But before we get into today's video guys 76 percent of you guys are not subscribed yet so if you haven't yet make sure you do it guys i'm just saying bro we're gonna get back onto the houses okay don't even worry guys i've just had a bit of a funky week okay i've uh, been a little bit anxious okay but don't worry we're getting back onto them so make sure to use starco jesse in the roblox item shop if you want a spot in my village very nice and make sure that you also tweet it to me otherwise i, I don't know you know i can't smell you using it look at how many more spots we got oh she pretty but yeah guys like i said earlier we're gonna be trying to build the best catapults we possibly can using the new building update okay so guys after looking a little bit on how to and like how catapults actually work i wanted to see if it's actually possible to even do something like how a real one would work so we're gonna just make a little prototype here okay so guys the little prototype that i've made here actually i mean it's not too great but uh the idea is okay it's very kind of hard to explain so how a real catapult works is that it's like there's two ropes okay like i actually didn't know this until i had to look it up okay so pretty much there's like ropes like this and there's like a rope right here okay um all right i gotta anchor everything <laughs> because guys it would be super obvious to do this all with thrusters but that's not how a real catapult works you know well, let me make everything a little bit thicker actually actually wait can i i don't know if i can okay so pretty much guys right here i'm gonna have to harpoon the middle tighten it up a little bit looking good then with these right here bro this could go horribly wrong <laughs> i have no idea i have to snag the corners each like so and then start pulling on them slowly and build up some tension <laughs> Uh, that is how catapults work, you know? And then the way that you actually launch it... <laughs> is by deleting this harpoon. I think we're working with thrusters today, boys. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get started with building this thing, okay? We're gonna do a little bit of a short time-lapse session. Let's just get it, man. My god, guys. I have gotten some progress done, to say the least, guys. I have actually gotten a lot done right here. As you can see, we are getting the baseline construction done for our catapult, okay? I'm trying to make this thing as realistic as I can, but this is mean, still pretty freaking hard, but I ain't even gonna lie. But guys, pretty much this right here, okay, wait, if you look right here, I'm just gonna quickly mock it up so you guys can get an idea, you know? Right here is where the pole is gonna go for, like, the, you know, where where the poles, where the, the thing is going to spin on, right? And then there's going to be a big plate right here like this. And then there's going to kind of be like a thing like this. <laughs> this is the greatest explanation of all time, which is going to slowly get more and more narrow. But that's kind of the whole idea. And then there's going to be like weights hanging off of there on the bottom. They're not going to be real weights, guys. We're going to have to use thrusters. But it's actually starting to look freaking awesome. And I'm really, really, really excited about it, actually. So guys, I hope you guys can start seeing it come together a little bit. Um, I'm using a lot of micro blocks here. Bro, can I just say, bro, using... Oh my God, here, look at this. Using these as ropes is like the biggest clap in the world it's so good it just looks so great it like it literally looks perfect like it actually looks like this thing is tying this piece and this piece right here like together and stuff it looks so awesome so i've been like using a lot of the rope to try to give it a little bit of aesthetic but it's starting to look really really cool man i recommend you build yourself one of these this thing is awesome <laughs> and it's actually gonna do something which is nice <laughs> but something that i will say that it's like i try to kind of keep these wheels working um i mean you can see right here it's just a stone wheel i've added some like feet like details and stuff to it to try and make it kind of like look like maybe a wooden wheel and i th it looks all right but it's still not great so there's that <laughs> Even color it this color that actually looks a lot better i'm not even lying but then we gotta hide the fact that there's glitching there guys glitching is like the worst thing in the game to deal with right now it's horrible so the way you actually prevent it is actually kind of silly here look you're gonna have to make a zero thick plane there for just that part to hide it <laughs> this is coming together so well though man oh i'm so happy with this all right next up we need uh, something to connect everything together again a little wooden beam Whoop. There it is. My God. What a beauty. All right, so after doing some measuring, I figured out the final length of the entire build. So guys, as you can see, it's going to be this long. It's, it's, it kind of looks a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie, but I'm like going by a model. So it's like, I couldn't really screw it up. I think I could. That needs to go there. Not there. Very nice. Okay. So guys, this thing that I've forgotten right here. Okay. This right here is like the exact same side over there. It's the same block. Then this right here is going to have to be some sort of circular cranking system to like crank down the 
the the, the catapult arm. I don't even know how I'm gonna ex ex explain this. Whatever, guys. Let me just get some work done in it for a little bit, guys. I'm just gonna work on the frame, okay? Once we get back to the actual mechanics, I'll be back with you, okay? Be right the back. All right, so guys, we've pretty much got everything that is like details and non-functional out of the way, okay, guys? As you can see right here, we have the back wheels. We got all the ropes in place. And uh, right here, we have the like the... I don't know. I'll explain it later. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. And then here, guys, I've already started a little bit because I was just thinking, how am I gonna do these mechanics? And my boy Kizzy uh, joined and showed me uh, this right here. So guys, you could actually just have two hinges and it kind of looks similar to wood. And that is how the whole rotation is gonna work. There's not gonna be like a pin in there, like how they usually do it. And it's gonna rotate around the pin because that would be way too hard to build. So this is how I'm gonna be doing it. Boop, boop. So it's gonna get a little tricky from here. Okay. <laughs> so guys, this right here is my reference material. And I would say I'm pretty damn close. I mean, I mean, it's pretty good. But guys, as you can see, it's like this like spoon looking thing with weights on the end. And that's where we're gonna start building now, okay? So this is where the weird little like gaps are gonna go. This is starting to look really cool though. <laughs> All right, continue this for a little bit. Then it turns into a smaller spoon. Little something like this. Oh, this is nice. All right, now we're gonna do the... <laughs> Hey guys, this right here is a bucket and it's already been taking me long enough for me to build that my video lights are burning my eyes so they're off no if i could just stop doing the wrong thing this sure would go a lot faster guys i made this these like ropes straight they're not supposed to be straight i don't know what i was thinking but i have to now redo it great and that is officially one bucket of weight completed <laughs> Alrighty, boys. The buckets are done. And uh, you might think to yourself, you know, will these things actually make the, you know, whole thing work? The answer is no. They won't do anything. Um, they're strictly for visual purposes. And I just spent almost an hour on them. <laughs> But now we're finally getting to the fun part, the bucket. Heck yeah, man. And I honestly haven't really thought about how I want to do this yet. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit up for debate. You know what? I kind of think I should do it almost like how I did the, the buckets over there, but then slightly bigger. Let's try that out. <gasps> we're done. It's been done guys here oh my god that's a steamy pile of poop so guys what you have right here is the completed build okay we have a bucket right here we have a spring release bro this thing is mad okay but okay you know what let's just we gotta first try this out with a block guys and uh that block is gonna be a chair filled with my good friend let's let's first try this out with um melon okay melon can be our test shot <laughs> melon hop in there all right so guys the way we're gonna actually do this okay we're gonna have to like harpoon this and build a little bit of how whoa how did i I just whoa how did i just pull that through all right melon's in now uh, ready up the water guys and then reset the whole thing just broke literally the entire thing just broke <laughs> <laughs> great jesse have you start go jesse i have have you all right now we just have to figure out why it got broken <laughs> well let's let's just hope that works <laughs> if it doesn't i'm gonna cry please work all right guys ready up the water didn't fall apart maybe that's good <laughs> oh wait it did it did break didn't it did it it definitely broke i don't know why that would be doing that okay maybe it will work now ready up the water guys if it doesn't i don't know what to do <laughs> it worked ah, it was one pixel off it didn't work because one block was one pixel off Woo. all right guys now that we pretty much have everything fixed <laughs> it took a minute for us to figure out but we should be finally able to actually use this thing so guys what you're looking at right here is the finished product let me save it before i do anything else man and i i i actually i actually don't know if it will work um i i just hope it will here M melon you're gonna be our test subject okay so uh to start off with we're gonna have to unanchor this whole thing as you can see there's melon in there okay and then i i, I think we just pressed the lever melon are you ready to launch three two one go um um oh there he is <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at that for like a minute straight until he landed like five foot ahead of me. <laughs> I'm okay. There, 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 there are some things to iron out here. Um, okay, I gotta try this out again. Okay, we have to anchor it off, I, I think. All right, Melon, you're gonna be test subject number two as well, okay? All right, let me know when you're ready, Melon. Three, two, one, launch! Now that was more like it. Look at Melon. Can we get a little zoom in there? Shooting off. Melon, let me know where you land. I can't even see you anymore, bro. That is a success right there, man. <laughs> I don't know why it's kind of glitching out, though. Oh, because of the harpoon. <laughs> yes. I do actually shouldn't be using the harpoon, I don't think. <laughs> All right. Um, by the way, guys, you can actually drive this thing, I'm pretty sure, I think. I don't know why it's leaning like this. What? Oh, I messed up. All right, let's try driving this thing. Um, it should be able to drive, for the record. You know what? Let's just keep this thing floating, man. I honestly don't even care anymore. <laughs> okay? Here. I just need to have my... Kizzy, you're my bullet this time. You're going to hop in there. <laughs> All right. There's a chair for you in there. All right. We're going to unload that. And I'm pretty sure we should be able to just flick this lever in. Yeah! 
What? Flower stage. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go this time. Actually, it's my turn now, boy. All right, I am ready. Three, two, one, go! Oh! I, why do I get the worst launch out of everyone? What is this? All right, boys, let's just hope I get a better launch this time. <sighs> okay, I'm disappointed now. Now I'm, now, I'm, now I'm about to get mad. Why can I literally not get a single, like, half-decent launch? Let's try that once more. Go! Yes! No! I know why it's not working. I need to also press that button. And now it should work. Oh, Mel and me, you would go together, yes. All right, three, two, and one. I go! Why is it not working? Just do it. You can do it. I will try my best, Melon. I have a little little thing here to maybe help me a little bit with going forward. I was going to delete a couple of those thrusters. Come on. Come on. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> For God's sake, man! Okay, please work. Three, two, one, go! You're right, it is too powerful. I think I have like 100 thrusters there. Okay, I've removed like 40 of them. I think that should make a difference. Well, it's like, oh, let's do it at the end. Bro, I gotta just get this to work, man. It's worked on everyone except me. All right. <laughs> oh my God, I want to die. <laughs> All right, please. Three, two, one, go. Why is it getting stuck? Why did he prapoon? All right, go. Three, two, one, go. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm counting that. That's perfect. That is more than I could have ever asked. There was nothing else I could have wanted than that. I am satisfied. Yes. No, guys. Now that we've gotten that perfect launch. It wasn't. <laughs> it was the best I could do. I've been trying for so long. Guys, we are going to do our star code shoutouts. Once again, guys, I haven't done them for a little bit. And uh, I mean, not to make up excuses. I've been a little bit anxious as of late and I've been kind of like not sleeping very well. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not an excuse. It's very stupid. But guys, we're going to be doing them again. So guys, let's get into it, man. If you want to get a house, by the way, in my village, make sure that you, you know, tweet me, you, using my star code on Twitter. The man in disguise. Elias. Skynado7. Mihail Pro Killer. Timmy Dude. Xmon Gamer. Echo Tricks. Lewis Pitchford123. Mob Killer467. Binzwi. Red Blue. X Poke Boy2006. XXX Not Dark. Ren Arisato. It's me. Ollie Wolf89. Lighten the new eh? Trojan RBX. E Tom Wagen. Shadow Ninja. Turd. Max Mill. Binzi, Not Hendrix, Shane Seat 8, Zero M 7 M, Hassan Bukhari, John Blaze, Fusion XXIV, Fortnite, Chromax Z, Weeb, Akos, Royal Memes, Alan M3000, Yella von Hulle, Jamie Jan, Tim KS, Leon Price, Zachary Robloxer, Donut Joseph, Rooks for Life, Awesome Titanic, Piggy Studio Presents, Cosmo 257, Unknown Wolf, US Dan 1234, S0808, Slorpion, and that is all the Star Code shoutouts for today, guys. We are actually on a new street now. So, guys, we're gonna have to name this street, guys. The people that are on this street are gonna be Big Boy Lane. Sounds good to me, boys. Guys, that is gonna be the end of today's video, guys. If you haven't already liked the video and subscribed to the channel, guys, I love y'all so much. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one, boys. You start, go Jesse. Peace out, everyone. And bye-bye.